وعلى آله وأصحابه وموالا Inshallah dear brothers and sisters with another golden piece of advice from the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Today's advice is also from Sayyiduna Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu It's related that he said Man lanat kalimatuh wajabat mahabbatuh Man lanat kalimatuh wajabat mahabbatuh that whoever's speech is soft, his love is guaranteed, or love for him is guaranteed. In other words, whoever uses a soft approach with people, whoever uses a gentle approach with people, people are bound to love this person. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is described in this manner by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ Before that, فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ Allah says that it is by the rahma, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you are gentle with them. If you had been rough and harsh with them, they would have run away from you. So the approach of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a gentle approach, was a soft approach. It was not a harsh approach. And he used to teach this to the Sahaba as well. So the famous incident where the Prophet ﷺ was walking in the streets of Medina with his wife, Sayyida Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And as they were walking together, they passed by a group of Jews. And the Jews said to the Prophet ﷺ, Assamu alaykum. Because there was hostility in their hearts towards Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So, assalamu alaykum sounds like assalamu alaykum, but it's not. And it was deliberate. They're not desis who can't pronounce Arabic properly, you know. They are Arab Jews. They know Arabic very well. So they said, assalamu alaykum. Sounds like assalamu alaykum. Assalamu alaikum means death be upon you instead of peace be upon you. So the Prophet ﷺ simply said, Wa alaikum. And he kept walking, didn't stop. Just gently responded and said, Wa alaikum. In other words, <clears throat> look, I know what you said, but I'm going to give you the benefit of doubt, maybe. Maybe it was a slip of the tongue. So to you the same, whatever it was that you intended, the same to you. If you really intended, assalamu alaikum, death be upon you, I'm not going to stoop down to your level and use the same language and say, wa alaikum assam. I'm not going to use your language. I'm just going to say, wa alaikum. Whatever it was that you intended, the same thing to you. Keep walking. Now, with him is his wife, Sayyida Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, and she loses it. She loses it because, of course, this is her husband. Not only is it her husband, but it is the head of the state. The head of the state. There was a charter that was written down when the Prophet ﷺ had arrived in Medina, recognizing him to be the head of the state, under whose leadership all the people of Medina are to live, coexist peacefully. He's the head of the state. How dare you speak to the head of the state in this manner publicly? Not only is he the head of the state and her husband, 
It's Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So she says to them, and she was an eloquent lady. She was the daughter of her father, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So she said, وَعَلَيْكُمُ السَّامُ وَغَضَبُ اللَّهُ وَلَعْنَةُ اللَّهُ And upon you be death and the anger of God and the curse of God. And the Prophet ﷺ held her hand and he said to her, Mahlan ya Aisha. Take it easy, Aisha. Mahlan ya Aisha. And so the, she said, Ya Rasulullah, didn't you hear what they said? She thought maybe, maybe he didn't hear properly. She said, didn't you hear what they said? The Prophet ﷺ said, yes, I heard what they said. Didn't you hear that I responded to them? I responded to them. And then he said to her, Ya Aisha, alayki birrifq. Be gentle in everything that you do. Because gentleness is not introduced into anything except that it beautifies it. And it's not removed from anything except that it leaves it ugly. So this was the teaching of the Prophet وسلم, that we handle issues with gentleness. Now, that doesn't mean that we can never be harsh. No, there is a time and place to use harshness. Sometimes, on some occasions, harshness is required. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did command Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be harsh with certain people in the Qur'an. But that's the exception, not the norm. The exception cannot be made into the norm. Some of us, may Allah forgive us, our normal default way of handling things is harshness. Our default way is the way of harshness and roughness and strictness. That's not the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa his way is gentle. His way is soft. That's the default. That's the norm. Harshness is the exception, not the norm. Even Musa alayhi salam and Harun alayhi salam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them the mission to go and talk to the biggest tyrant that has ever walked the face of this earth, Fir'aun, Fir'aun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them, وَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلَ اللَّيْنَ Speak to him in a manner that is soft. This is going to be the first time you're talking to him. The default has to be that you use a soft approach, a dental approach. لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ أو يخشى. Maybe he will be reminded and maybe he will fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us gentle in our approach. If we use the gentle approach, then inshallah the other person will develop love for us. And when they develop love for us, they'll be more receptive to what we have to say. وَصَلِّ اللَّهُمَّ وَصَلِّ مُبَارِكْ عَلَى سَيِّدِنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله